little boss. What's good? Have you, got, have you got anything to say? Liam? What is he gonna say? Oh, come on, he was just smiling a minute ago. Damn it, he was walking up and down like walking like a boss. Why are you just staring at me now? Huh? Huh? Kiki, why are you on my shoulder? Ooh. Why are you on my shoulder? <laughs> oh, he saw! <laughs> What's up, YouTube? This is Solo Solo Black here, and yeah, for my last vid on where I was going, most of you got it wrong, and most of you got it right. I am going to America actually. I'm going to visit my sister's place and uh, yeah, I'm going to chill and all that. Um, Blastoise, Black Blastoise was the only one that actually got the locate the state right. I'm in, in Chicago, so sorry for you guys who are living in Florida and California and all those other places. I won't be near you guys. Anyway, we've got a U match here, and yeah, let's get into it. So he's going to lead off with his York seat. I'm going to lead off with my ball beat. Now, I've, I was figuring that he was going to lay up some rocks here, so I decided to go for a turbo straight off the bat, just to set up. And he punishes me by going with the trick, so already my ball beat is already crippled to the point where I have to go for the bug buzz. So I proceed to go for the bug buzz, and with a plus 3 boost, that should be enough to kill, but unfortunately it isn't, which means this Yoxie is probably running some kind of special defense investment with a massive amount of HP investment at that. So because of that, I'm going to have to go for a, for a second bug buzz to take it out, and that will be an early 6 5 lead. And had he not had the Zapdos, my Volbeat actually could have done pretty well considering it's Choice Scarf and I've got a plus 3 boost. But anyway, he has this, and I just wanted to gauge how much this bug buzz would do, so I decided to stay in. It does next to nothing because Zapdos is usually such a bulky defensive bird, and UU isn't really the place for Zapdos. It should be an OU to be honest. but. You know, it's based on usage. So anyway, I switch out, go to my clay door, predicting the second discharge, but he switches up moves and goes for a heat wave, and that's gonna do a critical hit. So yeah, already my clay door is screwed in terms of bulk and such. But he tries to go for the toxic and it misses, which is great because that kind of makes up for the crit, and I'm able to get off my light screen, which means his heat wave isn't gonna be doing very much either. So he just he's just gonna go for a second toxic just to get me status because he it's not gonna be doing obviously anything. And I should have went for the stealth rocks here because on next one he's gonna switch. Because to, be, then I could have probably rapid spin on the on the Kyrim coming in. But anyway, he's in before rocks and I'm you know, so that's pretty much it. So with the um toxic with the toxic racking up, I'm, pretty, I'm getting pretty low in health. <coughs> he goes for the focus blast. I'm not really sure what he was predicting. In my opinion, he would have been better off using the stab ice move. But anyway, that that gives me clearance to go for the reflect, which means I'm able to get off both screens just before I die to the last toxic um, damage that will wear me out to the point where I get fated. So now I'm going to go into my Barachi Pelma because I'm thinking he's probably choiced, if I'm correct. And well, in of course he's choice, what am, I, what am I saying? Anyway, I'm going to go for the Thunder, I miss, even with the Compound Ice boost, it's not enough to rack up to 100% accuracy, so therefore I have to go for a second Thunder to try and get some damage, and I do quite a lot, but he's just going to roost off all the damage, so pretty much my Thunder is going to do next to nothing. So with that in mind, I'm going to have to try and go for a third Thunder. My full process here was just, you know, just to get some power hacks, considering how Thunder has the same paralysis chance as Discharge. But I don't get the paralysis, and he hits me back with a heat wave. And on, on top of all that, he even gets the burn, which is less of a chance for me of getting paralysis with my Thunder attack. So that was a real kick in teeth. Now I have to switch out because I'm going to get knocked out next turn by the heat wave. He was probably predicting the next Thunder, which is why he roosts on this turn, you know, just to get some damage because his roost is going to recover more damage than the Thunder would. So right now I'm gonna um, gonna try and set up some rain, cause uh, so that I'll be, I'll be able to pull off some kind of mini sweep going on here. And this is a swift swim Kindra, as obvious as it may seem. <laughs> so he's gonna switch out. He's gonna go into Melotic. The nickname is really, 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 really bad. Anyway, enough about that. 
I go for the Hydro Pump and it's not going to do anything because Melotic is such a special defense tank and it is well known for taking one special attacks and possibly physical attacks such as plus combat if it needed anything. Anyway, I was, I was debating whether I should stay in or so switch out but I go for the Madrake Meteor and I do get a lucky critical hit which means this Melotic is not going to be causing a problem later in the future. So now my relic has gone off, he's going to go back into his Zabdos, probably thinking I am a fully special attacker but I am not, I am actually a mixed Kendra, which means I'm able to go off my waterfall and I am a naughty nature which means I am packing max attack. I do get the flinch which is lucky enough for me because this allows my Kendra to knock him out with a second waterfall and take out the Zapdos. So already he's getting pretty unlucky with the, with the Draco Meter crit and the waterfall flinch. Fortunately for him, my rain does go off which means he's able to go into his Cabalion and since the rain is off and my special attack is dropped, I ain't going to be, be able to do anything. Hydro is not going to do very much, Draco is going to get resisted and Waterfall is not going to do very much because of Cabalion's natural bulk, natural physical bulk. So I have to switch out and sacrifice a Pokemon that I deem most useless, in this case it's the Volbeat and he, go, he dies to close combat. Now I'm going to go into my Tucky Kiss not knowing that he, this is Scarfed and I'm able to hit him off with a Aura Sphere on the, weaker, on the weakened defences and take him out in one shot. So bye bye Cobalion. Now he goes into his uh, Mew, I can't do anything because uh, I am locked into Aura Sphere, he knows that I am Scarfed which is why he sent this guy in. I'm hoping he isn't going to attack as I switch into my Garvanchla. Luckily he doesn't which means I am able to go to go for a you know to fire off another bug buzz and hopefully do enough damage which is what I proceed to do. So Garvanchla is going gonna to get, get down to work, he's going to go buzzing and I do get another lucky critical hit which means that Carmine defenses are nullified and he is taken out in one hit. So he is very very unlucky there. Now he only has one Pokemon left which is the Kyrim. He's going to take a bit of rocks damage and I thought I was going to be faster considering this is my choice Gov Garvantula which I have removed later on in, ma in future matches but he outspeeds me which tells me that this is a timid Scarfer and he's able to take him out with Focus Blast. Now he's going to go try to go for Focus Blast again as I switch into my Kendra. He's going to miss which is very unfortunate and at this rate it's pretty much a good game because my Dragon hits home and that will be the match so that would be a good game. I'll hopefully try and get more content out for you guys, probably on some type wild. I still have a few Pokemon playthrough, playthrough, walkthrough parts, and I'll hopefully try and get out very soon. So yeah, um, I'll catch you guys later, and um, peace out. Oh, yeah, also, I won't be very, I won't be able to upload as much as possible because I'm, I'll be on holiday for the next four weeks. So please stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys with more videos. So see ya.